Okay, so this is the Audient ASP2802. Now apparently the Focusrite tw Control 2802. And uh, I installed the software this morning that connects the Mac to the uh, console over Ethernet. It just comes up as Ethernet MIDI drivers basically. And uh, messed around with it in control surface mode. And I just created my MIDI tracks and went back to analog mode and started playing around with the automation. So, we've got transport control on Pro Tools. Right now we're in the analog layer. We're in automation safe mode. So channels 3 and 4 are automation safe. If I take them out of auto safe, they start following MIDI tracks that I just recorded. So that's analog automation. And you simply punch in on it, which is why you just saw that jump there. I was punching in some crazy level jumps right here. Uh, yeah. And for demonstration purposes only. While that's all going on, you can flip her over to DAW mode. Right here, this is... Uh, the level controls for the uh, main vocal mix. Bank up and down through all your tracks, and your uh, track display follows your bank. Right now we're on uh, aux levels. Can be flipped to the faders. You can do fan, fan levels on the encoders, and you can do inserts. Back to the analog level. Right now we got uh, the bus compressors engaged, disengaged, engaged, even it up a bit, disengaged. Cool. We got the dim in right now. I don't know that I'll ever be that. So even with it dimmed here, we'll play with some of the solo options. We're soloing the vocal subgroup, regular solo, and solo in front of the mix, with variable level. Switch it over to solo in place. Mute the other tracks. The reason you're still hearing the mix is because the rest of the mix is coming off of the old Trident next door and it's coming in the doll mix. So I got 16 tracks coming in off the Trident. I just have two subgroups returned to the audience until she gets wired into the bay. And, uh, alright, I'll see how that came.